So we took flowers out and I swam as far as I could. <laughs> took the flowers and up in the lake. She thought it would make her feel better. And it, it didn't. Melody Beal and Daisha Benjamin didn't know each other a year ago. And it's really funny because I don't like girls normally. <laughs> but together, they can share the pain that few others understand. It's always there, crying every day. Depression. It's hard. And all I want is to know what happened to my daughter. Melody's daughter, Crystal, was reported missing August 9th, 2018. Investigators say she was last seen in Shreveport's Highland neighborhood. She's dearly missed right now. The whole family, everybody's worried. The Caddo Parish Sheriff's Office is investigating. We just don't have any leads. We, we, we have exhausted everything that we could possibly do. Daisha's daughter, Kylie Hartman, vanished a month later. Her mother tells me she was last seen leaving this bar on Mansfield Road with her boyfriend. I, I don't understand why one day she's here and the next she's gone. Shreveport police are handling that case. Nothing is ruled out, so it is an open investigation. For both mothers, details are frustratingly sparse. Oh, it's to our family apart. It's to the point now where we can't even say her name. But the names Crystal Beal and Kylie Hartman have far from disappeared from the conversation. Rumors um, seem to be a problem in this case, and these rumors are repeated. From ransoms to ex-boyfriends, investigators have either debunked those rampant rumors or can't verify them, at least publicly. It's the game you play when you were a kid, when you all sit in a circle and you whisper something in your buddy's ear, and by the time it gets around to the person next to you, what they say and what you said are two completely different things, uh, and that can actually harm our investigations to a degree. Though one rumor remains persistent, that Crystal and Kylie's disappearances are connected. Here's why people might think that. No, she's not a saint, quite frankly, when we do find her, she is gonna do jail time. Crystal and Kylie were both in and out of jail. In fact, a friend bonded Crystal out of Caddo Correctional only three days before she was last seen. Both mothers tell me their daughters struggled with drug addiction and dealt in prostitution. The women also link their daughters to some of the same people. They both believe their children are dead. Do you believe she's on the run somewhere? No, she's, Crystal's not running. Crystal does not run. I don't think she's with us anymore. I just want to find her remains so I can have closure, so my family can have closure. Tato and Shreveport investigators have exchanged information on both of these cases. We have no evidence to support that Crystal Bill ever ran with Kylie. I don't know about any connections. They also say there's no evidence that either woman is dead. It's difficult. You're, you're in a, a different element of uh, society and you're dealing with people that don't want to come forward to the police. But we, we found that in our interviews that we've gotten quite a bit of information from these people. And it's simply that whatever Crystal decided to do, she didn't include anybody in her plans. If we had conclusive evidence that, that Kylie was dead, it would not be a missing person. It would be, be a homicide investigation.